Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is a very special day for me and I'm doing my makeup right now. But I want to share to you guys that today is my interview day for my citizenship here in the United States. My schedule for my interview is 7 o'clock and I have to be there at least 15 minutes early and I will meet my attorney outside. And of course, my family is going to show some support and love. And I'm really nervous and excited. I want to share to you guys this day. And of course, for those people that are preparing for this time or interview i will share my experience too and you know some recommendations and advice and that's it i will finish this makeup right now and i don't want to be late for my interview Okay, so I'm done with my makeup and now I'm going to put my, of course, business attire clothes or interview clothes or outfit. And after that, we're going. It's a little bit simple makeup, but I think it's fine. I don't want to overdo it. I mean, I'm not going to party anyway. <laughs> All right, so let's go. Okay, guys, I'm done. And this is my outfit. And uh, yes, I'm ready. Hold on, I'll show you my outfit and let me know what you think. Excuse our bathroom, okay? So this is my outfit and uh, it's a little bit formal. It's not too formal, but I think that's okay. It looks, it makes me look skinny, but I am not skinny. I gained a lot of weight because I am taking steroids for my allergy and that makes me hungry. So yeah, so this is my outfit for my interview and uh, this is my shoes here. I'm going to try to wear heels. And I think I'm going to use my brown bag. I think I'm going to use this one here so it match my shoes. All right, so I'm going to prepare my bag now and all the things that I need and the requirements. And that's it, we're going. Hey everyone, so we are here inside our van and uh, the rest of the gang are here. So they want to go to support mommy and now it's 9 50 and we have to go because it's a little bit far from our house and you want to say hi <laughs> hi say hi how about you, you want to say hi hi all right so hi. oh there you go <laughs> hello hi. everyone oh you so hi. How about you, Vincent? Hi. Hi. <laughs> and there he is. Okay. We're going. Hey guys, we are here in immigration and well, I mean outside. We're waiting because we got here early intentionally and we are waiting for my attorney. So hopefully they will ask me only six questions and that's it. And uh, if you get them right. If I get them right. But it's a ten questions, is it? Yeah, it, well, the thing is, they have to ask you 10 questions, but if you answer six correctly, then they will stop asking and they will move on to vocabulary or or written exam. And uh, hopefully I can get those six. We're just waiting here and they're there and my husband is texting. Look, <laughs> show some support. <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> How much more support do you want? No, I'm, I'm just kidding, guys. All right, we'll see you later and we'll update you what happened and uh, we'll give you some tips and advice. Hey guys, I'm back and uh, yep, I'm done with my interview and I passed. So, okay, I passed the interview. It takes forever. <laughs> Uh, they waited outside <laughs> of the immigration office, um, you know, just to support me. But anyway, so I passed the interview. The interview only lasts for 15 minutes, but the waiting inside the immigration office is like forever. My attorney said that it is not common. They usually do it fast, but this time they're having hard time and they're having computer problem or whatever, internet problem. First of all, the officer that did interview me is Hispanic lady, but she is really good and she is really amazing. She is really nice. So the interview started by raising my right hand and swearing, you know, swearing that 
I'm gonna tell truth and nothing but the truth. And after that, she started a question by asking, um, "Are we? I, am I married? How many kids do I have?" And the weird part is, she asked, "How did I meet my husband?" Of course, I shared a story that we have common friends and uh, you know, blah 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 blah. And also, she asked me about my past work experience and. Uh, my address, my past address. And after that, she asked me to give her my identification cards, my driver's license, my passport, and my green card. After she reviewed all my documents, she jumped onto a civic question. So she only asked me six questions, which is, I answered it correctly, thanks to God. If you will not answer six questions correctly, that's okay. You have four more chances because they will ask you 10 questions and you only have to answer six um, questions correctly and then after that they're gonna stop asking you about civic questions hey are you proud of mommy oh, mommy passed the test and interview oh, you're happy are you happy for mommy you waited in the van yeah what did you do in the van did you just watch yeah i just watched what did you eat i just eat the food and make enough rice and eat hungry you're so hungry make in the van and eat enough rice he's very talkative <laughs> Okay, you say bye guys. I will let mommy talk for now. My bye guys. I will talk. let mommy talk for now. My night, my night, mommy to talk for now. Okay, bye. Bye. Alright. Okay, get your dinosaur. So, okay, I'm just gonna recap this because my son, you know. So, they will only ask you 10 questions, but if you answer six questions correctly, they will stop asking you civic questions. So, civic question is the history of the United States and information about the United States. So, all right. So, the first question that she asked me is uh, is who is the vice president, which is, you know, Kamala Harris. And then the next question that she asked me is what is the responsibility of the U.S. citizen? So, that is to vote. And the third one is what do we call the first 10 amendments, which is the Bill of Rights. And the fourth one is what is the capital of your states, which is we are here in Texas. So, that's going to be Austin, Texas. Then, the fifth question that she asked me is what is one promise that you make when you become a US citizen which is one of that is to give up loyalty to other countries I'm sorry but my son is really loud the last question that she asked is how old do the citizen have to vote for the president which is 18 years old and older so yeah that's a civic question that she asked me and after that she moved on to the reading test which um, she asked me to read what is the state that has a lot of people and then after that she moved on to the writing test and she asked me to write that california is the state that has a lot of people so yeah and she told me that i passed a uh, civic question i passed a uh, writing test i passed the uh, reading test and then she now moved on to the the form um this one here <laughs> i have it here the n400 form and of course she asked your name do you want to change your name i said yes because i want to put the the my family name when i was um, single so it's gonna be like you know Priscilla tersenio aranda instead of Priscilla aranda she moved on to the yes or no questions guys if you are preparing for this exam you have to Pay attention to your N-400 form because they are more particular with your answers here than your civic questions. That's what I think. So after I answered the uh, yes or no questions, she moved on to the all yes answers, which is, you know, like, do you support constitution? Do you understand what oath of allegiance? Do you, are you willing to take oath? Um, are you willing to bear arms? Those kind of questions. Um, and uh, my advice is for you guys to know what's the meaning of those words. She did not ask me about any vocabulary, um, but I heard a lot of 
stories that you know like you have to study and you have to know what's the meaning especially the oath of allegiance okay so after that she told me that okay you pass the exam you pass the civic questions you pass your reading your writing and the yes or no and the yes all yes answers and she asked me to sign because i have to change my name so she asked me to sign some papers like that and uh, she gave me this form she gave me this form so excited so she gave me this form this is my ticket <laughs> my ticket to my oath taking i have to bring my green card of course and that's it so this is it okay so my advice and recommendation um for people that are reviewing and preparing for this test and interview um, I know that is really nerve-wracking. I am real. I'm, I was pretty nervous. It is normal, especially if you are not really um, speaking like a fluent English. Of course, that's what my my father-in-law said. And uh, yeah, so if you are if you are reviewing, you pay attention to your N four hundred because that is really important for them. Um, of course, you study your civic questions. Um, the YouTube, YouTube video helps a lot. I play that every single day, and uh, I'm going to put that in the description here. So you can just click that link, and I promise it will really help you. Just hearing that, you don't have to memorize everything. Just hearing that every day, it will retain into your memory for sure. And then, um, um, be honest, when they ask you a question, look into their eyes straight. <laughs> and of course, um, if you have an attorney, much better. But if you don't, I mean, it's not a problem, it's not a big deal. But for me, I just have an attorney because we don't have time to, I mean, to file these papers. We just want it correct. And I don't know, I don't have any um, like idea how to file this. So, yeah. He, my attorney is really good um he is the one that guide us from the very beginning from my green card to the citizenship and of course he's also the one that's going to help us to bring my family here and the last thing that i want to share to you or recommend it to you guys is just um, to be prepared of course dress well in your interview you don't know whose officers is going to interview you some of the officers is not that good some are like good but mine she's really nice but she's really hyper as well <laughs> she's everywhere but she's she's really nice she is she's really nice and uh yes i think that's it i'm going to have my ote king this friday at eight eight o'clock so i have to be there 7 30 but yep there's a lot of people and applicants there and hopefully you know god bless them that they will pass the test and exam and that's it that's it. Babe, do you want to say anything? <laughs> it's pretty simple. Like what I said, you just need to study, 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 and it's so easy. Be yourself and don't lie. I, I know you make it seem very easy, but she studied her butt off. She... Well, you studied. You studied and... and Remember, guys, I have two babies. Yeah, yeah. So it's not that easy to do it all, keep the house, you know, in order keep um, everybody fed and, and happy and mm -hmm. healthy and I know I know she's mentioned numerous times that it's a simple it's pretty simple here and there I heard the word simple a few times but in all transparency yeah it 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 requires some effort and, oh yeah and of you can course. do it but it's definitely doable you accomplished it we're very what I'm saying is the interview is really simple you just need to prepare and study yeah if you're if yeah. you're prepared for it it should be fine right yes. and if you're but don't take it lightly, you know, it's... Oh yeah, no, no, that's what. Yeah. That's not what I'm saying. That's how quickly it can also... Like what I said. Fall apart if you're You not don't prepared. know who's the officer that going to interview you. Mm -hmm. Some are good, some are rude. <laughs> good and rude. You got this, mm -hmm. you got this, and I think you did a good job. Obviously you yeah. passed, so... Yay! Congratulations. For you, good luck, and just pray and study 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 and uh, just click the link down below and i know you, it's really gonna help you guys just listen to it every single day okay okay so bye for now and i will do another vlog for my oath taking on friday all right everyone so that's it for today and thank you so much for watching i hope you learned something in this video and i will see you in my next video or vlog which is on friday i am not sure i'm gonna film that on friday because that's my oath taking ceremony and i'll see you in my next video bye